Do you ever feel like your days are so busy that you don't have time to connect with your kids? Well, I'm here to share four simple ways to connect with your kids every single day. Hi there, this is Mary with Israel, and I'm here to share four simple ways to connect with your kids every single day. Between school, work, activities, family life can get really busy really fast. Personally, I felt like this. Even as a stay-at-home mom that stayed home with her kids every single day, all day, there would be days that would just fly by that were filled with errands and chores and dishes and laundry and you name it, just everything but actually connecting with my kids in a meaningful way. Truth be told, this is the reason why we started Israel to begin with. We wanted to build a life for our kids that was full of moments. Moments that are full of fun and love and joy and moments they will actually remember. We've been able to achieve this by being really intentional with our time. And we're going to share four simple ways that you can do this too. Let's get started. Number one is one-on-one -on -one time. This is especially important if you have more than one child. Take this time to spend with your child, just you and your child. And it could be five to 15 minutes. It doesn't have to be long. You let him or her pick whatever it is they want to do. In our home, it usually involves like a game or drawing a picture together or reading a book, or you know, it could be something silly as uh, having a pillow fight or a dance party. If you have a son that loves to build like us, spend your morning digging through that box of Legos, building something with him to make him happy. Or if you have a daughter that loves to play dress up, Get dressed in that pirate costume and chase her around. These are the moments they're going to remember. So lose your inhibitions and just get down on their level and do the things that they love to do. What are some of your favorite things to do with your kids when it's just you two? Leave us a comment below with some more ideas because we are always looking for things to do with our kids to connect. Number two is car time. Think about all the time you spend in the car with your kids, between taking them to and from school, to activities, to play dates, to errands, whatever it is, we just spend so much time in the car. So use that time wisely. Use the time to really get to know each other, get to know your kids, and let them into your life, what your life was like as a child. Share your childhood memories with them. Just this morning, I shared with my kids on the car ride to school what my favorite toy was as a child. And it was this plastic, tiny little plastic um, luggage that was full of, guess what, Legos. <laughs> and so my kids loved hearing that I also played with Legos as a kid, and that was my favorite toy, and that just helps build my connection with them and helps bring us closer together. Try playing a game with them. There are so many games that we like to play in the car, but one of them could be finish the story game. So each person takes a turn saying one sentence in the story, and by the end of the story, it's a pretty hilarious story. <laughs> but you get the gist. It could be any type of game that gets you guys talking and engaging and just having fun together. So here is a really fun alternative to listening to music in the car, especially music that your kids love to play over and over again from their favorite movie that um, you don't particularly enjoy. Uh, try listening to podcasts. There are so many podcasts out there that are educational, that are inspirational, that have morals to them. We actually came up with a list of uh, podcasts that our kids love that Chris and I actually enjoy listening to also. I will link 
to the blog post with those podcast um, suggestions that we have in the description. So make sure you check that out. And if you have podcasts that you love to listen with your kids in the car that are family friendly, please leave those in the comments also. So this one's pretty obvious. Ask how your kid's day was in school. I know that when we typically ask this, how was your day? We usually get the response, good. Or what did you do today? Nothing. I feel you. This is why we created a list of questions to ask our kids uh, that are not, how was your day? We have it as a resource for you guys. I'm gonna post it in the bottom in the descriptions for you guys to download. Number three is meal time. Now for us, breakfast is usually on the go and lunch is not here like during the week, during school, they have lunch at school. So our consistent meal time that we have as a family together is dinner time. So if you can, I would highly recommend that you sit down for dinner um, or for any other meal. Um, I had a friend in school who her parents would make breakfast for them every single morning because they had activities in the evening and they were home at different times and ate dinner at different times. So whatever it looks like for you, sit down for a meal together because that time can be used so well if you really use it with intention. Something that we like to do during every dinner time is we share our highs and our lows. We share something great or positive that happened that day, something that we're proud of. And then we also share something that happened that we don't really care for that made us um, sad or happy or something that didn't go well. I highly recommend this if you guys don't already do this. It's a really powerful way for kids to open up. Another great way to get the conversation going during dinner time is just by asking questions. Put together a list of just random questions. Uh, some of them are serious, some of them are just silly. And we often will pull this out during dinner time um, just to kind of get ideas on different topics to talk about with the kids. And oftentimes it'll just spark conversation and turn into you know something really funny. This is also a resource that I will link to in the description. It's called 50 Random Questions, and you guys definitely want to download that for some interesting conversation over a meal. Number four is evening time. And what I mean by that is I create an evening routine together. I know that it's hard for some families who have schedules that don't align, but if you can, it is so important to gather together before the day is over to really connect with each other. I want to tell you about what our evening routine is like so that it will inspire you to create something of your own. This is something that we've been doing forever. Over the years, it has just really strengthened our bond together and really created such great memories just doing that same thing over and over again. So what we do is we sit in the same area of our home called the reading corner. We pull out the same box of uh, library books. The kids pick out a library book. We read the book together. We then we say a prayer and then we all take turns saying something that we are grateful for. And after that, we kind of huddle together for a big giant group hug and we sing the I Love You Barney song. I know it's cheesy, but it totally works for us. And that song just really like helps connect us as a family. That is our evening routine. I really highly recommend that you guys create something like that for your family. There you have it. Four simple ways that you can connect with your kids every single day. Carve that one-on-one -on -one time with them. Connect with them while driving in the car. Have a meal with them. And create that evening ritual with them. Don't forget to check the description below. We're going to post links to our kids' favorite podcast, questions that you can ask them in the car ride home, 50 random questions that you can ask them over a meal or whenever if you are looking for some fun conversation. What are some ways that you like to connect with your kids 
Be sure to share those below in the comments so that we can get more ideas on how we can build a stronger connection with our kids. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more fun tips on how to cultivate a life that is fun and meaningful to you. See you next time.